Do re mi fa. Wait, am I getting these wrong? Wait a second. This is into class. This is geometry class. With this incredibly kid-friendly introduction, let's get started. A negative one six. B three eight. C six negative one. D one zero. What could the numbers possibly mean? Well, form a quadrilateral. Form A B C D is trapezoid. So, what is A B C and D? Well, A is negative one six. So you have negative one six three six. See, it's that easy. So that's A B three eight. So three. Six negative one. Six negative one. And D one zero. D one zero. All right. We've got it now. So here I draw the line, or rather the four lines, to form a quadrilateral. Or it black. I should shut up about that in the middle of a geometry video. <laughs> anyway, um, now we have to prove that this is a trapezoid. What is the definition of a trapezoid? Well, trapezoid is when you have a parallelogram, but half. No, it's not a half parallelogram. It's not like you cut it a parallelogram in half. If you cut a parallelogram in half, you get another parallelogram. So, instead, trapezoids go like this. They only have one pair of parallel. So, parallel sides. Okay, so now we know what a trapezoid is. So, how do we prove that the ADs are parallel? Well, we are going to test out AB and CD and AB and BC. So, what is the slope of AD? Well, that would be, well, let's look at threes over a rune. So you have Rees, which is uh, negative six, and Rune, which is two, three. Oh, negative three. Woo! Anyway, and BC, wait, orange. Oh, so BC has, well, let's see, Rees negative, Rees negative eight, and then, wait, Rees negative nine. Dun, dun, dun. And moon three. So now we are going. We know that these two are parallel. But now we have to prove that Abbe and Dasha are not parallel. And AB. So what is the slope of AB? Well, you've got what is our rise. It's gonna be two, and our run is four. Wow, positive for one. I haven't seen that. So our rise is two, run is four, one half. However, what about DC? You can infer that its slope is negative just by looking at it, but we have to test it out, you know? So we've got rise negative one and run five. So, negative 1 over 5. That gives us negative 1 over 5. What a surprise. So that means these two are inexplicably not parallel. While these two are. So, we have proven that this is a trapezoid. But how do you prove that it's an isosceles trapezoid? Well... 
The person who made the triangle, named Riley for whatever reason, said, Well, <coughs> this extraterrestrial uh, trapezoid must have uh, uh, congruent diagonals. Now we have to prove that this is not an isosceles trapezoid. So how do we prove that? Well, let's look at the diagonals. So we have AC, oh, and DB. So AC, let's see. Oh God. Let's see this distance. So what is it? Well, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find out. So what is the rise over here? Of course, it goes down in flames. That's why you've got a rise of negative seven. It's not really a rise, that's a fall. And then you've got a run, or a run time, I guess, of, let's see, you have one, and then you have seven. So, got essentially seven. So, the square root of seven squared plus seven squared equal to the square root of 98. So, DB, what is the run? Well, the run is one, two. And the rise is, well, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get two squared plus eight squared, which becomes the square root of 68. So since these two are not equivalent, that means this is not an isosceles. That's it. Thank you everybody for watching.